Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something super fun, taking a break from AR content to do a little bit of movie myth busting. Let's get to it. You guys ever seen in the movies where they're like, oh, shoot the gas on the ground or shoot the flammable liquid on the ground. Woof, the whole thing explodes. That's what we're gonna be testing today. We've got a plate downrange, AR500 steel plate. We're gonna soak that thing in gas and we're gonna shoot it with all these different calibers and see if it ignites. Let's head downrange. In case you guys were wondering or concerned, we shot this in a spot. It's not really that flammable. Kind of bare open ground, no grass. And we brought along a fire extinguisher that is fully charged and ready to go. So we are prepared to put out any fires that may have been caused or not caused during the making of this video. Filled up this smart water bottle with some two stroke gas poked a little hole on the top. We're gonna to hose down this AR500 plate, take some shots at it. That should be good. Brought along a lot of stuff to test this myth. Some of the stuff we have on the table, 22 long rifle, also cylinder for 22 Magnum. We got 38 special, some nine mil, 45 ACP, then we'll go 44, 12 gauge shotgun and then over here we've got 556 300 blackout and we've got the last on our table some 270 win first gun we're going to try out 22 long rifle out of this ruger i've got some cci standards some cci subsonics and some cci stingers so we ought to get a good comparison between all the different 22 calibers let's head up and shoot that plate 22 long rifle, soaked in gas, let's go. First one up, subsonic. Nothing. Standards. Nothing. And the stinger. Ooh, that had some zip to it. So the first two were all lead. The second one was copper coated. We're going super fast. No ignition, let's spray some gas on it, do the next one. Up next, same pistol, swap the cylinder out to 22 Magnum. We have some all copper 22 mags, and we've got some standard FMJs. We'll shoot the FMJs first, then the all coppers. Standard, and then all copper. Nothing. Gotta hose it down with gas, move on to the next caliper. All right, so 22's out. No ignition. We resprayed that plate with more gas. We've got 357. These are 38s that I brought today in this Black Hawk. Black Hawk. And these are the rounds we'll be shooting. First, solid lead, lead and copper mix. And then we got mostly copper jacketed hollow point there. I couldn't get any full copper, so that'll have to do. Let's go up, take some shots. First up, two rounds of lead, then two rounds of lead copper, and then two rounds of copper jacketed. Nothing. Ooh, those may have been 357 or plus Bs. Oh, just under. And hit, nothing. We're gonna have to step it up again. We'll respray it with some gas, move over to nine mil. We re-soaked that thing with gas, 38 specials out. We got nine mil next out of my custom built race gun. We've got standard FMJ, two solid coppers and two subsonics just for the hell of it. Let's do it. All right, FMJs are up first, then solid coppers and then subs last. Nothing, nothing. Oh, solid copper had some spice. Nothing still. Subs. Nothing. We're gonna have to move up. Let's go. All right, stepping it up a little bit slower, but a bigger bullet, 45 ACP out of my Kimber Custom 2. First two are standard FMJs. Second two are solid copper hollow points from Barnes. Let's do it. 
FMJs up first, then the solid coppers. Good hit. Nothing. Nothing. Man, I really thought that would work. On to bigger guns, let's go. Great, I like I was finished drinking that. Thanks, wind. Bastard. Anyways. <laughs> All right, nine mil, 38 didn't do it, 45 didn't do it, so we're stepping it up. 44 Magnum out of my Smith & Wesson Scandium Titanium Airlight. We've got 44 Special, lead, copper jacketed, and then we've got 44 Magnum, copper and lead. So, cross your fingers. Two 44 Specials, one's lead, one's jacketed, and then two 44 Magnums. And I'm not Kentucky Ballistics, that shit hurts. That was a good hit. That was the jacketed special. Time for the Magnums. Oh, oh, oh good hit on that guy. No ignition. All right. Because we like punishment here, another Magnum. Oh, <laughs> I pulled it low. It was for nothing. Uh, <laughs> all right, I think I'm all good with that. No ignition on the special or the Magnum. On to the next. Have fun. Next up, 12 gauge shotgun. First, we got bird shot. Then we got buckshot, and then the last one. This is the one that I think we're actually gonna get an ignition on. Plated steel. Steel on steel, we should be good with this one. So, let's do it. All right, first one up, bird shot. Nothing. And buckshot. Nothing again. And steel. Nothing again, and we actually got good hits on that. Kicked up a little bit of dirt, but I can see this shot go right across the top of it. Let's do one more steal. I wanted to do one more steal. I really think if anything's gonna work, it's gonna be this or the 5.56. Five, five, Nothing, man. Solid hit too, right dead center. Ah, <sighs> Not looking good, not looking good for the movies. We're gonna do 300 blackout next. I got some 110 Amaxes. I got some 150 grain hollow points, 220 grain hollow points, copper jacketed. And then the last one is a solid copper, 220 grain. So let's go up there. We'll hose this thing down real good. We'll see if 300 blackout can do it. all the spots from the steel shot 300 blackout my model one first up 110s nothing 140s nothing 220 sub Woo! quiet still nothing all right last one 220 solid copper still Nothing. Man. On to 5.56, five, I guess. All right. 5.56, five, five, 10 and a half inch Model 1. First round is a 55 grain soft point. Second round is a 77 grain, oh, sorry, 55 grain FMJ. Then the next round is a 77 grain hollow point, jacketed. And then the last one is a steel core. The steel core has got to ignite this thing. Let's do it. Nothing on the first two. 77 grain. Woo! Steel core. Nothing still on the steel core. 
Oh, dude, I thought that was gonna have it. All right, I got a few more steel cores. Let's just load up like 10. All right, we got a bunch more steel cores. We're just gonna let this plate have it. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Man. I guess on to the next. All right, 270 win, copper jacketed, and a lead soft point. We'll do the soft point first, and then the solid copper. If this won't do it, I don't know what will. Nothing. Boom. Center mass, nothing. Man, I wasn't quite satisfied with that. So we propped the target up a little bit more. We're gonna do one more 270, a little bit more green tip. <laughs> nothing. All right, on to green tip. Confirmed. It's not gonna catch on fire. Movie myth, busted. If there's anything you've ever seen in a movie, you thought, that's not real life, that's not how that happens, let us know, shoot it down in the comments, we'll try it out. We like doing these abnormal tests where we just come out here, have a little bit of fun. So hit us in the comments, let us know what you guys wanna see. Until next time, this has been Independence Arms. Thank you for watching.